Unit 6 How often do you exercise? Exercise number 1 Snapshot Look at the picture What are they doing? They are playing basketball Where is she? She is She's at the gym She's doing exercises She's doing aerobics Exercise number one, snapshot. The top five sports and fitness activities in the United States, in the USA. What are the first sports and fitness activities? Sports, number one, basketball, volleyball, softball, football, soccer. This is basketball. Volleyball, softball, a sport, like pistol, F soccer, football, fitness activities, activities to be fit, to be athlete, weight training, weight training, lifting weights. Treadmill, treadmill, stretching, stretching, extending the arms, extending, walking, jogging, jogging, walking quickly, walking quickly. Do people in your country enjoy any of these sports or activities? In Egypt, we like to play football. Soccer, volleyball, in Egypt, young men like weight training, treadmill, check through the sports or fitness activities you enjoy, make a list of other sports or activities you do, then compare with the class. You try to make a list and tell your friend the, what is the best sport or activity do you like. Exercise number two. Word power. Sports and exercise. Look at the picture here. We have different sports and different exercises like swimming, playing soccer, football, playing tennis, riding bikes, bicycles, yoga, game of meditation. Weight training, weight training, lifting weights. Inline skate, now which of these activities are popular are famous with the following age groups. Check through the activities then compare with the partner. Here you have groups, groups of age, children, teens, young adults, middle-aged people, older people, children, kids, three years old, four years old, until 10 or 11 years old, teens, 12, 13, until 19, from 13 to 19 years old, young adults, 20, 20 to 35, Middle-aged, from 35 to 50 years old, to 50, middle-aged. Older people, from 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 80, 90. This is in Egypt. 
If you are 60 years old, you're in pension. In pension, you stay at home and you have a salary. You take your money on pension. Here, you have the activities, aerobics, baseball, bicycling, inline skating, bicycling to ride a bicycle, inline skating to skate, soccer, soccer, football, swimming, tennis, Weight training. This is weight training. This is weight training. Lifting weights. Higher. Yoga. Yoga. This is game of meditation. Meditation. To think of only one thing. Why? To calm your mind. To relax. To relax. This is yoga. Now, aerobics. For aerobics, children, teens, young adults. Baseball, in Egypt, not famous. Bicycling, bicycling, children, teens, young adults. Inline skating, maybe in Sharm el Sheikh, yes, uh, children. Teens, young adults, swimming, children, teens, young adults, middle-aged, older people, all like swimming. Swimming, you travel to Sharm el-Sheikh, Hurghada, Marsa Matruh, Marsa Alam, for swimming, for having fun. Tennis. Children, teens, young adults, middle-aged. Weight training, lifting weights. Teens, young adults. Yoga. Maybe middle-aged, middle-aged, older people. B. Per work. Which of the activities above are used with do, go, or play? Now. These activities, the verb do, we use it with which one, with which word, go and play. Do, do plus what exercises. Do aerobics. Do it training. Do yoga. Again, do aerobics. What sound? Do aerobics. Do it training. Do yoga. Go. Verb plus ing. Go bicycling. Go swimming. Go in line skating. Go bicycling. Go swimming, go in line skating. Play, play plus baseball, 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 ball. So play plus sport with ball or game with a ball. Play baseball, play soccer, play tennis, play football. Play, play rugby, play ping pong, play table tennis, exercise number three, look at the back show. what do you see here? Young lady, she's sitting on what? What's this? She's sleeping on what? This is sofa, couch, couch or sofa. What's she doing? She's watching TV. She's watching TV. She had a remote control. 
She's watching TV. She's very lazy, not active. What about this one? What's he doing? He's practicing sport. He's in line skating. In line skating. In line skate. And he's very active. Now, exercise three, conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Listen and practice. Let's start to listen. CD2, Unit 6. How often do you exercise? Page 37, Exercise 3, Conversation. I hardly ever exercise. Part A, Listen and Practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. Listen again. I hardly ever exercise. Part A. Listen and practice. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early, and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. And now, let's answer some questions about this conversation. So, here, Mary and Paul are talking. They are talking about exercising. Does Paul exercise a lot? Yes. Paul is a fitness freak. Paul almost always gets up early and left sweats for an hour. Every day, he left sweats, he left sweats for an hour. Every day. Then, he often goes in line skating. In line skating. How often does Paul exercise like that? How often? How many times? How often? How many times? About five times a week. Five days in the week. What about Mary? Does Mary exercise? No. She hardly ever exercises. Hardly ever like one time in a month, like once a month. She goes to the gym once a month. What does she do? She usually just watches TV in her free time. So Mary watches TV in her free time. What is the type of Mary? Describe Mary. She watches TV. She doesn't go to the gym. She doesn't exercise. She is a real couch potato. Couch potato, very lazy person, not active. Staying at home watching TV. Staying at home and watching TV. So, Mary is couch potato. Number B, listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? What does Paul do in his free time? Does he exercise all the time only? Does he lift weights? No. Let's start to listen to number B. 37. Exercise 3. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else does Paul do in his free time? What else do you like to do, Paul? Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time, too. Well, listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. 
Well, I like video games a lot. I play them every day. It drives my mom crazy. Hey, I play video games all the time, too. Well, listen, I have some great new games. Why don't we play some after class today? Okay. What else does Paul do in his free time? Paul plays video games. He likes he likes playing video games a lot. Is his mom happy? No. It drives his mom crazy. It makes his mother very angry. What will Paul and Mary do. Paul has new games, so they are going to play after class today in the afternoon. So Paul and Mary are going to play games afternoon today after the class. Exercise number four. Page 37. Exercise four. Grammar focus. Adverbs of frequency. How often do you exercise? I lift weights every day. I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much. Do you ever watch TV in the evening? Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV. No, I never watch TV. Always, almost always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, almost never, never. Exercise 4. Adverbs of Frequency Frequency, Repetition Adverbs of Repetition how often? How many times? How often do you? How many times? Means you do this every week, every month, every day. How often? How often? Conversation between A. Ahmed, Muhammad, Ali. Ahmed, how often do you exercise? How often? Do you plus main verb. How often means how many times. How many times. How often. How often do you exercise. How often do you go to the gym. How often do you study English. Muhammad. I. Verb object. I study English every day. I study English once a week. I study English twice a week. Twice a week. Two times a week. I study English twice a month. Two times a month, three times a year. This is Muhammad. Ali, I don't exercise very often. I don't exercise very much means I don't exercise. So how often means how many times. Easy? This is how often. For a question about the specific frequency of an action, we use how often. How often. For example, how often do you fight crime? Or what's the frequency that you fight crime? To answer, we use specific frequency adverbs and a time period. For example, once a day, once a week, or maybe twice a month, or three times a year, or four times a year, 
if we want to say every day, we can use every day, or maybe every week, every month, or every year. And we can also use the negative not very much. Remember, how often is for the specific frequency, and we use specific frequency adverbs to answer the question. Do you ever, do you ever watch TV in the evening? In the, the evening. Yes, I often watch TV after dinner. I sometimes watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. Sometimes I watch TV before bed. I hardly ever watch TV, hardly ever, yes sound. No, I never watch TV. Question do you ever, ever? Answer? Often, sometimes, hardly ever. Never. Sometimes can begin a sentence. Sometimes here, between subject I and the verb watch, I sometimes watch. Sometimes, the second sentence, in the beginning. Sometimes I watch TV. A, okay, this is D Weaver. D Weaver, question. A, ask a question. D Weaver, plus main verb. D Weaver, play football. Do you ever watch TV? Do you ever do the dishes? This is Ahmed asked. Do you ever play football? Do you ever do the dishes? Do you ever watch TV? Yes, I always, I always, I almost always, I usually, I often, I sometimes, I hardly ever, I almost never, I almost never, plus main verb. Okay, so I always play football. Yes, I often play football. Yes, I sometimes play football. Do you ever do the dishes? Yes, I hardly ever do the dishes. Yes, I almost never do the dishes. Do you ever watch TV? Sometimes I watch TV. So sometimes in the beginning of sentence. Sometimes, comma, sometimes I watch TV. All right. Now it's time for the grammar. And today's grammar is adverbs of frequency. Adverbs of frequency. An adverb we use before the verb, before the action. And why do we use the adverb of frequency? Well, to indicate the frequency of an action, of the verb. So, for example, in the question, do you ever eat eggs for breakfast? We use the adverb ever to ask about the frequency of the verb. In this case, eat. So, the question about the frequency of this action is, do you ever eat eggs for breakfast? Now, remember, the adverb ever is only for the question about frequency. And in the answer, we use other adverbs of frequency. For 100% of the time, we use the adverb always, always. Less than always, we say usually 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 less than usually we say often 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 less than often sometimes sometimes less than sometimes 
hardly ever, hardly ever, hardly ever. And 0% of the time, we say never, never. Okay, so for example, the question, do you ever eat eggs for breakfast? My answer can be, I always eat eggs for breakfast. Or, I sometimes eat eggs for breakfast. Or maybe, I never eat eggs for breakfast. Now, remember, the adverb of frequency is always before the verb, before the main action. The exception to this rule is the adverb sometimes. With the adverb sometimes, we can use it at the beginning of the sentence. For example, sometimes I eat eggs for breakfast. And that's okay. Also, we can use sometimes at the end of the sentence. For example, I eat eggs for breakfast sometimes. So, sometimes is a very flexible adverb of frequency. The other adverbs of frequency are always before the verb and after the subject. All right, very good. Side number A. Put the adverbs in the correct place, then practice with partner. In this exercise, you write here the adverb, okay, or the word between brackets, like ever. In which place in the sentence? Like I say, ever do or do ever or do you ever or do you play ever sports? <laughs> Where you put ever? Where do you write twice a week? Let's answer. 1. A. Do you ever play sports? Do you ever play sports? So here, ever between you and play. Do you ever play sports? Sure. I play soccer twice a week. Twice a week at the end of the sentence, as it is. Number 2. What do you? What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? What do you? What do you usually? What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? So usually between you and do. What do you usually do on Saturday mornings? Nothing much. I almost always sleep until noon. I almost always sleep until noon. So I put almost always between the subject I and the verb sleep. 3. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? Do you often? Often? Between you and do. Do you often do aerobics at the gym? No. I hardly ever do aerobics. I hardly ever do aerobics. So hardly ever between I and do. I hardly ever do aerobics. 4. Do you always exercise on Sundays? Do you always exercise on Sundays? 4. B. No. I never exercise on Sundays. I never exercise on Sundays. So never between I and the verb exercise. I never exercise. Five. What do you? What do you usually do after class? So usually between you and do. What do you usually do after class? I go out with my classmates about three times a week. I go out with my classmates about three times a week. About three times a week at the end of the sentence. This word about, not about, no, the stress on the bath sound on B. About three times a week. Three times a week.
Exercise 5 Pronunciation Let's start to listen. Page 38 Exercise 5 Pronunciation Intonation with direct address Part A Listen and practice Notice these statements with direct address. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Listen again. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. You're really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. In this sentence, intonation, intonation, sound up or down. At the end of the sentence, the sound is down, but here, notice these statements, these sentences with direct address, direct address, name like Paul, James, Dr. Lee, Ahmed, Muhammad. There is usually falling intonation and a pause before the name. So here, before the name, before the comma, sound is down and you stop for short time. Pause. Pause to stop for short time. You really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great. Dr. Lee. Easy. So before you say the name of the person, you stop for a short time and the sound goes down. Again, you really fit, Paul. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. She looks tired, James. I feel great, Dr. Lee. Fitness poll. A. Group work. Take a poll in your group. One person takes notes. Then turn it asking each person these questions. In this exercise, we have fitness survey, fitness questionnaire, poll survey questionnaire. You ask the people these questions. You ask your group. 1. Do you have a regular fitness program? Do you have a program to be fit? Do you go to the gym? Do you do exercises? Do you run? Do you go jogging? Jogging? Walking fast. Walking quickly. Or running slowly. How often do you exercise? How many times do you exercise? Once a week, two times a week, twice a week, three times a week, four times a week. Question number one. Do you have a regular fitness program? Yes, I have. How often do you exercise? I go to the gym every day. Do you ever go to gym? Yes. How often? Every day. How often do you go? I go to the gym every day. What do you do there? I do aerobics. I left wet. Three. Do you play in sports? Which ones? How often do you play them? 3. Do you play in sports? Yes, I do. I play football. How often do you play football? I play football twice a week.
two times a week. Twice a week, two times a week. Four. Do you ever take long walks? How often? Where do you go? Do you ever take long walks? Do you walk for a long time? Yes, I do. How often? Every day. I walk for an hour every day. Where do you go? I go to supermarket. I go to Hyper One or Carrefour every day and walk to the supermarket. What else do you do to keep fit? To be fit in good health. What else do you do to keep fit? I play ping pong. I don't smoke. I run to work every day. I ride a bicycle. Page 38, exercise 7, listening, in the evening. Part A, listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not very good. Thirty-eight. Exercise seven. Listening. In the evening. Part A. Listen to three people discuss what they like to do in the evening. Complete the chart. So what do you usually do in the evening, Justin? I exercise a lot. I like to go swimming after work. Yeah? How often do you go swimming? Twice a week, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Well, you are in great shape. Thanks. You're in great shape too, Carrie. Oh, thanks, Marcos. I usually go to the gym and do yoga in the evenings. I love it. My friends and I take a yoga class there. How often do you go? Three times a week. And what about you, Marcos? Do you ever go to the gym in the evenings? Actually, I don't exercise very much. But I go bowling about twice a month. But I'm not very good. 3 Twice a month. Twice, two times. Two times a month. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's start. Unit 6. How often do you exercise? Often, T sub D. 1. Often. Exercise. Volleyball. Soccer. O. A. Sa sa soccer. Football. Basketball. Ja jogging. Jogging. O. A. In American. Jogging. Walking quickly. Walking. British. Walking. Walking. British. American. Walking quickly. With training. With. 
GH silent weight training lifting weights lifting weights walking softball a sport similar to baseball a sport similar similar to baseball treadmill a machine for walking or running stretching extending or making your arms and legs longer stretching extending exercise number two go plus activities in ing play games with a ball do fitness activities and individual exercises individual individual exercises again go plus activities in ing play games with a ball do fitness activities and individual exercises fitness activities activities t soft d individual exercises aerobics yoga aerobics yoga bicycling bicycling skating skating t soft d individual exercises to do exercise alone aerobics to go to the gym yoga a game of meditation bicycling ride a bike skating skating t soft d to skate on ice british skating baseball children kids teens teenagers young adult young adults yes young adults adults bridge american adults youth british american yes young adults yes middle-aged people middle-aged people in Egypt between 30 to 45 years old between 30 to 45 years old in Egypt in the USA middle-aged between 40 and 60 in the USA middle-aged between 40 and 60 Exercise number three, hardly ever, hardly ever, yeah, sound here between Y and E, hardly, hardly ever, rarely, left, 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 left weights, five times a week, free time, leisure, spare time, free time, leisure leisure for spare time leisure spare time seriously really couch potato potato t soft d potato potato second t this t soft d potato lazy couch potato lazy a person who watches television and is not very active lazy couch potato not very active lazy exercise four adverbs of frequency adverbs of repetition adverbs of repetition four again adverbs of frequency adverbs of repetition How often? How often? T silent. T silent. How often? How many times? Every day. Once. 
one time, twice, two times, always, always, L silent, always, 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 almost always, almost, L silent, always, L silent, almost always, usually, often, T silent, often, sometimes, hardly ever, hardly ever, yes sound, hardly ever, rarely, almost never, almost, L silent, almost never, 20%. Never, zero percent. Aerobics, aerobics to do exercises. Gem, gymnasium. Classmate, your friend in a class. Classmate, your friend in a class. In a class. Make link here, your friend in a class. Exercise five, fit person who does exercises again athlete a person who does exercises five fit good athlete a person who does a person who does exercises does d o e s Keep fit. Six. Fitness. Pull. Questionnaire. Survey. Seven. Shape. Appearance. Again. Six. Fitness. Pull. Questionnaire. Survey. Shape. Seven. Shape. Appearance. Practice the guitar. Play the guitar. Jogging. Jogging. O A. British jogging. Jogging. Walking quickly. Walking. British. Workout. Workout. Exercise. Workout. Workout. Make link between the K, K work, and out, and O oh, sound. Work out, work out. Don't say work out, no, work out. Work out, exercise. That is the end of the vocab book. Unit 6 workbook. 1. Team sport. Sports that needs groups of players. Team sport. Sports that needs groups of players. Individual. Individual. One. Exercise four. Karate. Karate. British karate. American karate. A sport of self-defense. A sport of self-defense. Karate, a sport of self-defense. Soccer, football. Seven, exercise seven, workbook. Outdoors, indoors. Hike, walking for long time. Walking for long time. American walking, British walking. Camp overnight. Camp overnight. Spanish related to Spain. Portuguese. Portuguese related to Portugal. Related to Portugal. Racquetball. Racquetball.